Right now, a great friend here to the Upper Room. He's performed with his wife and songwriting partner, member of the band, Rola. And uh, he's phoned in. He's a real busy guy. We always, we always catch on a busy time. Fuzz, how you doing, Fuzz? Good, how you doing, Joe? We're, we're doing real well and, uh, you know, continuing to support your great record. And uh, what, what's been going on with Rola? I know you've been a couple shows coming up. Uh, yeah, we do actually have uh, uh, this week. We're, we're, we're doing a few, you know, uh, out, out and about New England, like up in Killington and Skidmore College. And then, uh, and then at the end of the week, we're going to be... Uh, on the 25th of February, we'll be we'll be back in Danbury at the Premier Music Hall with uh, the Breakfast, us and the Breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, that's on the 25th of February on Saturday, and then we're also going to be at the uh, very locally at the Acoustic Cafe, I guess, uh, is uh, of, on March 2nd with the Ryan Mott Blue Band, uh, and uh, that's uh, that's Thursday the second. So. Uh, yeah, things are always popping up, so but those are the most uh, local and current things, I guess you want to say. So you got to hit the uh, listeners up with uh, the website, Roller's website. Oh, yeah. Well, you should go to visit uh, www.rollaband.com. That's R-O-L-L-A-B-A-N-D.com. So, so I hear some new songs being written in the background, right? <laughs> yeah, we're constantly working. Got yeah. some a couple of chords, Harry. <laughs> hey, <laughs> All right. We, there's, we, a, there's always music being made over here. We can't stop. You hey, could stop us. I, I got to ask you, as a songwriter, I mean, you, you've written so many great songs with so many different bands, Deep Banana, Blackout, on your own solo projects, and now with your wife, Carrie. Um, how about songwriting when just jamming with other members of different bands and grooves soaking in your mind. Um, how does that process work? I mean, you guys obviously have jammed different bands, Deep Banana, and and you being a major songwriter. Um, how easy is that for you to just absorb stuff and then later make it into a full-fledged song? Um, you, you know, you're talking about with bands that I work with or just in any situation? Like yeah, I mean, the, if, you're, if you're jamming at a rehearsal, how easy is it to, to turn into a song, a coherent song? Uh, well, it's, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it's easy because it just clicks right and it makes sense to me and it makes sense to everybody and it's, and it fits. Other times, uh, it could be a lot more work. It's, and, and maybe those are the times that they're not, they're not the right ideas because, uh, you know, they just don't, I feel like it should just fall into place easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise it's not, not natural. You know, it's, you're maybe trying to. Quit, uh, fit a square peg into a round hole or something, you know, like that kind of thing. But uh, but a lot of times, you know, um, things just happen spontaneously anyway, and, and those are the best things, you know, when we're just sort of messing around. And, you know, uh, I just got back last, uh, you know, a couple of days ago. We went, I went up to uh, up to play with the Rev Tour Band. They're, you know, a cool band out of Massachusetts, and they do a lot of, you know, blues and funk and jam stuff. And, uh you know, he never prepares me for what they're going to play. He just throws it at me as it's happening, and he says, you know, after the set, you it would seem to come up with the right parts for the songs if you'd heard them many times. And I think, you know, uh, over the years, you know, just that's been something that I, I just try to, you know, get right in the pocket right away. And then, you know, and it's almost like that's, that's how you'd want to record a record in a way, like just, you know, what, what the best things that come out right off. You know, it's like that that thing where you know usually your first answer is the right answer and that's kind of the thing you know right right so so fuzz of uh rolla is with us also deep banana blackout you're going back to uh a place where you guys have had some great shows toad's place in new haven and and what's the date for that show uh st patty's day on the 17th of march okay um and we're yeah we're going to be over there and also i think we have a region hour and assembly of dust opening up and uh, you know, and then we're doing the 18th at the Paradise in Boston. Okay, so, so um, bu- busy during this winter. And, and yeah, uh, hey, we should let our listeners know if they don't know already. Uh, there's a review of Rolla's new album in uh, Relics. Is it Relix or Relics magazine? It's pronounced Relics. Okay, Bob, we are yeah. on the cover, and uh, you know, just to get in there, I mean, there's a lot of bands fighting to get a little, uh, little uh, ink in major magazines so they must love you over there 
<laughs> well, they you know they they do I think, and and I think that what sealed the deal was Carrie and I went down there uh, a few months ago uh, to do a podcast. Oh, okay. And uh, and we wound up you know we wound up you know entertaining the whole um, office you know because they were like initially we were just going to talk a little and play a couple tunes into the into the player so that they could you know podcast it. And everyone just wound up kind of stopping what they were doing and crowding around, and we went for like a half hour. <laughs> they didn't actually air all of that, but it was just a good, like, fun time for us and the uh, and the members of the Relic uh, office, you know, to just kind of take a good, <laughs> give them an excuse to take a good half hour off, you know? Right, yeah, right, and hear <laughs> some little, great music. Yeah. Run a little concert into the, into the middle of the office. So, yeah, that was good. It definitely, uh, it definitely helped that out a bit, I think, you know. And they've always been good about covering stuff. For me, you know, with from you know all through the years with the banana and with you know on the on the corner with Fuzz the Gawk and Big Fuzz and now this, so it's good, you know. So hey, man, thank thanks for calling in, Fuzz, as always. And uh, we got to have you and Carrie before the uh, end of the spring semester to come up here and play in the oh, studio. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Let me know when uh, you're only doing Monday still, right? Or yeah, uh, as far as live here, but uh, we could you know pre-record something and air it. On, on the following Monday and, and also on our 24 hour network so we could work okay. something out like April or May we can do it yeah that would be wonderful yeah so check it out Roll a, Roll a Band and Carrie Ernst and Fuzz legendary guitarist and uh, great performer so thanks Fuzz I appreciate it Joe okay take Talk care to you. Okay. Talk to you soon. okay peace right now a great friend here to the upper room he's performed with his wife and songwriting partner member of the band Rolla and uh, he's phoned in. He's a real busy guy. We always, we always catch on a busy time. Fuzz, how you doing, Fuzz? Good. How you doing, Joe? We're, we're doing real well and, uh, you know, continuing to support your great record. And uh, what, what's been going on with Rolla? I know you've been a couple shows coming up. Uh, yeah, we do actually have uh, uh, this week. We're, we're, we're doing a few, you know, uh, out, out and about New England, like up in Killington and Skidmore College. And then... Uh, and then at the end of the week, we're going to be uh, on the 25th of February. We'll be we'll be back in Danbury at the Premier Music Hall with uh, the Breakfast, us and the Breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, that's on the 25th of February on Saturday. And then we're also going to be at the uh, very locally at the Acoustic Cafe, I guess, uh, is uh, of, on March 2nd with the Ryan Mott Blue Band, uh, and uh, that's uh, that's Thursday the second. So. Uh, yeah, things are always popping up, so but those are the most uh, local and current things, I guess you want to say. So you got to hit the uh, listeners up with uh, the website, Roller's website. Oh, yeah. Well, you should go to visit uh, www.rollaband.com. That's R-O-L-L-A-B-A-N-D.com. So, so I hear some new songs being written in the background, right? <laughs> yeah. We're constantly working. Got yeah. some a couple of chords, Harry. <laughs> all right we, there's, we, a, there's always music being made over here we can't stop you hey, could stop us i i gotta ask you as a songwriter i mean you, you've written so many great songs with so many different bands deep banana blackout on your own solo projects and now with your wife carrie um how about songwriting when just jamming with other members of different bands and grooves soaking in your mind um how does that process work? I mean, you guys obviously have jammed different bands, Deep Banana, and and you being a major songwriter. Um, how easy is that for you to just absorb stuff and then later make it into a full fledged song? Um, you, you know, you're talking about with bands that I work with, or just in any situation. I yeah, guess, I mean, uh, if you're if you're jamming at a rehearsal, how easy is it to turn into a song, a coherent song? Uh, well, it's, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it's easy because it just clicks right and it makes sense to me and it makes sense to everybody and it's, and it fits. Other times, uh, it could be a lot more work. It's, and, and maybe those are the times that they're not, they're not the right ideas because, uh, you know, they just don't, I feel like it should just fall into place easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise it's not, not natural. You know, it's, you're maybe trying to. Quit, uh, fit a square peg into a round hole or something, you know, like that kind of thing. But uh, but a lot of times, you know, um, things just happen spontaneously anyway, and, and those are the best things, you know, when we're just sort of, 
messing around and you know uh i just got back last uh you know a couple of days ago we went i went up to uh up to play with the rev tour band they're a you know cool band out of massachusetts and they do a lot of you know blues and funk and jam stuff and uh you know he, he never t- prepares me for what they're going to play he just throws it at me as it's happening and he says you know after the set you it would seem to come up with the right parts for the songs as if you'd heard them many times and i think you know uh, over the years you know just that's been something that i i just try to you know get right in the pocket right away and then you know and it's almost like that's that's how you'd want to record a record in a way like just you know with, with the best things that come out right off the, you know it's like that that thing where you know usually your first answer is the right answer and that's kind of the thing you know right right so so fuzz of uh rolla is with us also deep in anna blackout you're coming back to uh a place where you guys have had some great shows toad's place in new haven and mm-hmm. what's the date for that show uh st patty's day on the 17th of march okay um and we're yeah we're going to be over there and also i think we have a uh, region hour and assembly of dust opening up and uh you know and then we're doing the 18th at the paradise in boston okay so, so um, bu- busy during this winter and, and yeah uh, hey we should let our listeners know if they don't know already uh there's a review of rolla's new album in uh relics is it relics or relics magazine it's pronounced relics okay bob we're yeah. on the cover and uh you know just to get in there i mean there's a lot of bands fighting to get a little uh little uh ink in major magazines so they must love you over there <laughs> well they you know they they do i think and and i think that what sealed the deal was carrie and i went down there uh a few months ago uh to do a podcast oh okay and uh and we wound up you know we wound up you know entertaining the whole um office you know because they were like initially we were just going to talk a little and play a couple tunes into the into the player so that they could you know podcast it and everyone just wound up kind of stopping what they were doing and crowding around and we went for like a half hour <laughs> they didn't actually air all of that but it was just a good like fun time for us and the uh and the members of the relics uh office you know to just kind of take it he gave them an excuse to take a good half hour off you know right yeah right and hear <laughs> some great music yeah brought a little concert into the into the middle of the office so yeah, that was good it definitely uh it definitely helped that out a bit i think you know and They've always been good about covering stuff for me, you know, with from you know all through the years with Deep Banana and with you know on the, on the corner with Fuzz the Gawk and Big Fuzz and now this, so it's good, you know. So hey man, thank thanks for calling in, Fuzz, as always, and uh, we got to have you and Carrie before the uh, end of the spring semester to come up here and play in the oh, studio. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Let me know when uh, you're only doing Monday still, right? Or yeah, uh, as far as live here, but uh, we could you know pre-record something and air it. On, on the following Monday and, and also on a 24-hour network. So we could work okay. something out. Like April or May, we can do it. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah. So check it out. Roll a, roll a band and Carrie Ernst and Fuzz, legendary guitarist and uh, great performer. So thanks, Fuzz. I appreciate it, Joe. Okay. Take Talk care. To you. Okay. Talk to you soon. Okay, peace.